Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's sugar daddy, girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing. Love you, Mom. <laughs> Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I... Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with her, doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? one hundred and forty-five k to cover the surgery. Rita, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But, Mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal. Hey, you're coming with me. Wait here. I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. All right, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. Oh. I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> Yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Happy birthday. Hope you like your gift. Gummy bears, really, guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh, no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I, I just said no. Oh, come on. Just let me go. 
Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just want to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm going to head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry. Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. <sighs> you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mind reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Oh. Well, now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. <laughs> well, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is going to be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Hold my drink. Okay. I gotta use the bathroom. Thanks for holding this. Of course. This is good, babe. Mm, I thought you might like it. What's it called? It's called, uh, Taken by Surprise. Why is it called that? That's why... Just one more kill and you're rid of me. You're gonna miss me, aren't you? You wish. Well, tomorrow's assignment is no joke. Go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. He's actually kind of cute. Damn it, stop it. No attachments. This is for your freedom. So you're telling me that this guy's a billionaire? Yes, and he's got two bodyguards. So you gotta work your charm and get him alone. Then, you're gonna give him some of this. It looks like water, but if he drinks it, BAM! He's dead. Think you can handle it? If it means I never have to see your face again, then yes. Hey. Hey. What's your name? My name is... <clears throat> uh... Are you always this articulate? Haha. <laughs> uh, Brett, sorry. My name's Brett. And that's why I hate snakes. <laughs> so, are those big, strong men over there your bodyguards? Yeah, I have them for my protection. Oh. Is, uh, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just, I wish we could go somewhere a little more alone. This better? Yes, but uh, do you think you could get me some water? Yeah. One sec. Cheers to, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! To, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! What? Your drink. It it has a bug in it. No, don't. And that ruined my carpet. You'll you'll thank me later. It's all right. I've been meaning to redo this place anyways. So you've been single for a while now. Yeah. Huh. You know, for me, it's always been kind of hard to stay alone. Sometimes it's better to be alone. No one can hurt you. Hey, listen. I I get why you feel like that. But I want you to know, I'm not that type of guy. We should stop this before I so you're telling me he's not dead? I am done working for you. No, no, sweetheart. We had a deal. 
You remember the obedience necklace, right? Don't make me use it. So tomorrow, no security, just you and me. That sounds great. I'll, I'll see you then. Good job. And tomorrow, you get that kill count up to 50. Hey. Hi. Remember, I'm watching you. You okay? Yeah, uh, do you think you could just get me some water? Yeah, of course. Okay, when he comes back, you know what to do. Got your... Natasha, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. You have five seconds to take the shot. I don't know who's making you do this, but you always have a choice. Do it! Three, two, one. No! Run. Ugh. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Say goodbye to your freedom and your little boyfriend. Wait! How could you? You wanted 50 kills? Ugh. Well, you got it. Security! Let's see those hands! If they need to arrest me, I understand. Actually, I work for the CIA, and if you're willing to come work with us, we'll drop all the charges. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, I would like that. Thank you, Brett. You saved my life. I'll never forget. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing, it's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh, take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? <laughs> no, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say you take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Hey, Mommy. Can I ride the...
the bus to school with my friends? No, honey, I'll walk you. Okay. Hey, Mom, can I go to the mall with Jessica? Her mom's taking us. You can go, but I'm driving you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hey, Mom, there's this school trip. Can I go? How long is the drive? About three hours. No, sorry, you can't go. Okay. Hey, Mom, I'm finally 16. Can I please learn how to drive? No. But both my sisters got to learn at my age. I said no. This is not fair. Hey, girl, are you coming with us to Jackson's party tonight? I would love to, but I can. Ugh, is this about the whole driving thing? I'll take you. I have my license. You know what? Yeah. Pick me up at seven. I'll follow you into the park Through the jungle, through the dark Girl, I've never loved one like you Boats and boats and waterfalls Alleyways and payphone calls I've been everywhere with you That's true We laugh until we think we'll die Barefoot on a summer night Nothing new is sweeter than with you And in the streets you're running free Like it's only you and me Jeez, you're something to see Oh, home Let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you Oh, home Let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you You can only say yes. Yes. Sweetie, does this dress make me look fat? Yes. You really think that? Yes. You're such a disappointment. Do you know that? Yes. Giselle, will you do today's homework for me? Yes. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say yes. Will you do the whole week's homework for me? Yes. Oh my gosh, thanks. You're the best. Yes. Class, today we're doing a pop quiz. Yes. Giselle, you seem really excited about the quiz. Yes. Should we throw in a surprise presentation too? She better say no. If she says yes, she's done. Yes. Hey, babe, I think we should break up. Yes. Wait, so you want to break up too? Yes. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Yes. You can only say no. No! Honey, do you want some breakfast? No! But it's your favorite, chocolate chip pancakes. No! Are you okay? Should I call a doctor? No. Giselle, did you finish the assignment? No. Are you planning to finish it? No. And you just earned yourself detention? No. That's it. Go to the principal's office. Giselle, do you have a day to prom yet? No. I heard Chad's gonna ask you. No! But I thought you were in love with Chad. <gasps> Giselle, he's coming! No, 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 no! Hey, Giselle. Will you go to prom with me? No. Is that a yes or a no? No! Whatever, I'm out of here. No. Okay, what's my superpower? What is this? It's your birthday. What special power did you get? I don't know. There's just a bunch of colors over my head. Colors? Yeah, there's blue. What happened? Nothing. You just have blue lines on your face now. Oh. I selected it. It's so funny. She doesn't even get a real power. Hey, why would you say that? What? I never said anything. That was so weird. Hey, happy birthday! Hey, my dude, Jim! She'll never know how madly in love with her I am. You're in love with me? What? How did you know that? Whoa, I can read minds. Hey, is your birthday party still on at your place? Yes, of course it is. I really hope her mom's there. She is so fine. I'm so over this whole mind reading thing and stay away from my mom. I wonder what superpower Red will give me. Oh, oh, I forgot. Puts lines on my face. Hmm. I don't feel any different. 
Guess what? My crush asked me out and we're going on a date tonight. Danger. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? You're never happy for me. No, you don't understand. It gave me a danger warning. A uh, what? It looks safe to cross now. Let's go. Danger. <gasps> Wait! Whoa, that was close. Your power's actually, like, really useful. Hey, I invited Jim to come study with us. Jim? Okay, but you know he's, like, madly in love with me, right? Really? Since when? Danger. 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 Oh, that must be Jim. I'll be back. I'll go Danger. let him in. Wait, no. Let's see what power black gets me. What new power did you get? I'm not sure yet. 63 years left? Hey, Brianna, cool lines in your face. Very rad. Five years left? <laughs> what? Oh, it shows me how many years people have left to live. Huh? I would start taking better care of your health. You don't have much time left. You're crazy. 63 years. Why do you keep saying that? That's how long you have left to live. What? No way. I deserve way more than that. I have to study really hard if I want to go to med school next year. I think it's better if you just live in the moment. No, med school's my dream. Yeah, but life is very unpredictable. You never know in a year you could be gone. You're just jealous you can't get into med school. What power will I get for purple? Ooh, purple kind of suits me. Why haven't you left yet? It's 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? No way, I'm gonna be late for school. What's happening? Whoa, how did you get here? You're lucky. You made it just in time for the bell. Whoa, I can teleport. Class was so easy. Oh no, I forgot my bag. I got you, bestie. I got your bag, bestie. Thank you. And I also got this. What's that? It's the answers for the upcoming science test. I teleported into Mrs. Jennings' office and I took them. And the best part is, no one could have saw me go in because I didn't. I teleported. Brianna, we saw that you took the answers. Principal Smith, how is that possible? I never even went in. You know we have security cameras, right? I forgot about that. Gotta go. All right, it's time to see what the last power is. Brown. Ugh, looks like shit. Hey, Bessie. Hey, Brianna. Uh, where are you? What are you talking about? I'm literally right here. All right, wherever you're hiding, come out. I'm right in front of you. No, you aren't. <sighs> whatever joke you're playing or prank or whatever, it's not funny. Looks like Brianna's absent today. What? No, I'm literally right here. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Come out this instant. Why can nobody see me? Oh, that must be my new power. I can be invisible. How do I turn this off? When did you get here? Time to spy on people. What is my bestie doing over there with my boyfriend? Brianna can never know the truth about our love. Hey! Someone's calling on the telephone. Hurry up and answer it. They're going to give you a word and you must pass it on to the next person. The first person who says the word incorrectly dies. Your word is cookie. Say that again. They only tell you the word once. Now hurry, pass it on to me. Cookie. Come here, Timmy. Cookie. I know the word. It's Wookie. Timmy. Hey, Brianna, can you come here for a second? Okay. Get in. I'm sorry. I got chosen to play telephone. Hey, Stephanie. What's up? I have to pass on a word to you. Get in. That's an easy word. Kevin, come here. Britain. No. <laughs> Oh no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Onomatopoeia. Huh? Oh no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Onomatopoeia. Huh? Brianna, hurry, pass on the word. This word is really hard. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Pass on your word. Now. Come on, Brianna, it can't be that bad. What? What did you say? Is that even a word? I know it's a hard word, Bessie, but you have to try your best. I don't want to lose you. Kevin, come here. Onomatopoeia. What the? Jake, come here. 
Auto Maru P U. No, Kevin. Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair. Hurry. Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair. Hurry. Answer now or die. Your word? Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Anti... Anti-dis-dis-disestablishment. Dis, pass on your word. Give me a minute! Brianna, hurry, pass the word on to me. I can't, it's too hard. Teacher? Teacher, I have to pass a word on to you. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Easy word, you know I'm an English teacher, right? Jake, come here. Anti-disestablishment. I'm getting a call. What the? Where am I? Am I dead? You're not dead. You're an afterlife sorter. Afterlife sorter? Who decided this? Jesus. <laughs> My childhood dog biscuits. <laughs> you are such a good boy. Wow, you look good. Jason, remember when you cheated on me with like 10 different girls? That was a long time ago. I'm a changed man. Go to hell. No! Hey, girl! Bestie, what are you doing here? I was dancing on top of a building and then I tripped. Classic bestie. Ooh, 70%. What? Nothing. Go to heaven, girl. Huh? Myself? Well, obviously. Obviously. Why is it not working? Baby, they're watching. Hurry up. Smile. Baby, smile. We've got a code red. Okay, okay, I'm smiling, I'm smiling. Your smile is looking a little low today. Yeah, it is. We're going to have to use the clothing pins again. You need a much wider smile than that. Hey, Bree. Hey, Bestie, your smile's looking a little low. Here, try these clothing pins. It's a trick my mom taught me. You put it right here. What's even the point anymore? Bestie, you need to smile. I can't lose you, too. We've got a code red. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. My boyfriend, my best friend, my five-year-old sister. Your mother would be very upset you're acting this way. Mother. Yeah, the creator of the Smiling Law. She told us to show no mercy to her children, but I figured she'd be upset if both her daughters were gone. Mother. Where's your smile? You're the creator of the Smiling Law. Is that a problem, honey? Think of all the people that died because of you. Little sister, she was only five years old. And she didn't obey the law, and neither did you. Where are the police? You're a monster. Looks like I'm going to have to get rid of you myself. Come on, honey. You've already lost everyone. You really want to lose your mother, too? You're the only one I wanted to lose. Get adopted by a fireman or a billionaire? I think we should go with fireman because he's going to keep us safe. Yeah, I think so, too. Nope, billionaire. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. So, what are your names? I'm Margo. I'm Edith. And this is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Well, this is my home. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. This place is kind of creepy. It is. <sighs> There's nothing to watch. Did you hear that? I did. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from over there. <sighs> there was definitely someone down there. I told you, Agnes, we should have picked the fireman. Excuse me, I need to speak with you. Me? Yes, you. I have a secret that you need to know. So, what's your secret? I have a secret lab, and I know you girls saw it. No, we didn't. Don't lie to me. I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. Creepy much? Okay, maybe we did. Well, I can't have you telling anyone about the lab. Uh-huh. Sounds like I should be calling CPS. 
No, I need you girls to help me with my plan. And what plan is that exactly? Go get your sisters and follow me. Whoa, what is that? Is that a laser? No. Who are you? I'm the doctor you saw in the lab. Well, what is this thing? My greatest achievement, a shrink ray. And we need human subjects to test it on. The doctor and I created this together. Wait we... a minute, so you're telling us that the only reason you adopted us was so you could use us as your lab rats? Not cool, dude. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. Actually, we weren't asking. Run! Wait, wait! We don't want to try out your machine! Yeah! It's okay, girls. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. We don't? No. But sir, we only adopted them because- That's enough, doctor. We're not forcing them to do anything. Thanks for taking us to get food, sir. Girls, please, you don't have to call me sir. Can we call you dad? Agnes? I was just asking. You can call me whatever you like. I feel like Darren likes us. I like him too. But that doctor, she creeps me out. Yeah, same. Good night, girls. Good, Good night, night, dad. Dad? dad? <laughs> Hello. I need you to come with me. It's time for you to try out the machine. Shh. Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo! Let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey! That's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girls. No! What do you know? It works. Darren, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no, girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. You can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and we married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're gonna come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship. The Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the, the Pirate King had? Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, why? My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape. Not so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William. Where are we? 
We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, Your Majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a trap. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? Just the bread? That'll be a hundred words. Please, I'm so hungry. No words, no food. That's the rule. I'll buy it for her. You don't have many words, do you? Here. It's infinity words. You'll never have to go hungry again. Buy this for me, and this one for me! Hey! Come on, you have endless words, and we're meeting the prince today. Don't be so selfish. It's the least you can do after we let you into our family. That'll be 5,000 words. I was thinking lobster for dinner. Oh, and steak. You guys are just using me. The prince is coming soon. How do I look? Oh no, my words are getting low. Come on, I need a refill. What's taking so long? You literally have infinity words. Did I just hear you have infinity words? Do you know what this means? You're the long lost princess. What? what? There's no way a loser like her is the princess. Yeah, and before she never even- Silence. If she has infinity wards, that means she is the princess. Come with me, love. We'll have a crowning ceremony tonight. Here you'll have tons of ravishing dresses to choose from. Wow, you look just like a princess in your new dress. Where's the prince? You and the prince may not see each other until the crowning ceremony is over. I now crown you- Wait. I can't accept the crown. Why not? Because I'm not the princess. Am I a hunter? Or am I a prey? What? What does purple represent? I don't know. It has to be some kind of mistake. Well, I hope you're not a prey. I don't want to have to hunt you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Excuse me, there's no hunting praise during class. Fine. Hey you. What kind of mark is purple? Attention everyone. Please come to the main lobby immediately for your color check. I'm nervous. I have friends who are both hunters and praise. I don't want us to turn against each other. It's no big deal. You should be with your own kind anyways. Next. The purple mark. We've been looking for you. Come with me immediately. What am I? Am I a hunter or am I a prey? You're a mediator. Mediator? The mediators are meant to bring balance and harmony between the hunters and the preys. I didn't think they were real until I saw you. Get over here, you prey. Help me! Hey, stop that. Oh, what even are you? I'm a mediator, so just... Go to class. You have one special ability that no one else has. You have the ability to change their mark, praise into hunters and hunters into praise. I'm a hunter. It's what I do. You're a hunter? What? I'm a prey? I was so sure it was red. Dude, I'm so sorry I tried to hunt you. Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry. I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Oh! My hand! I'm so sorry. I- I didn't mean to. My hand! It's blue! Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling, she could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Aw, oh, thank you. <gasps> 
You took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh, my gosh. Uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait. Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. <gasps> hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor. Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. <gasps> hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working. Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm gonna get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed with this place, but I think it could use a little remodeling. Stop! You're melting it! <laughs> exactly. Snowball, run! <laughs> Guards, get her. Yes, your majesty. Stay back. I'm... I'm warning you. Come on, work. That's enough. Let's go. Uh. Sit down. Sorry for the restraints, Alicia, but your powers are just out of control. I want to speak to my dad. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Who wants to break her the news? What happened was all your fault, really. What are you talking about? Well, you see, dear, after you ran away, your father went to go looking for you. I begged him not to, but he wouldn't listen. He hasn't returned since. What? Yes, and I guess with him gone, I'm your guardian now. No, you have to send guards out to go looking for him. No one could survive in that snowstorm, Alicia. And to think this all happened because you ran away. The king is gone because of you. Take her to the dungeon. What if he's still out there, probably freezing to death? Oh, if I could just get my hands out of these things. Oh. It's no use. I'm never going to get out of here. Focus. Focus. Who said that? You know who I am. Mom? Please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. The necklace, it, it must be magic. Mom, please, tell me how to get out of here. You know what to say. Mm-hmm. I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn? Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. But, but, she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, Mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no. No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's Sugar Baby Girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please. Call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir. Steven. 
Steven, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college, and we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Oh my god. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night, Ugh. but I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, you'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only $20 in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please, this can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door, it probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money, 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax, everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here and hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit, you uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry, you're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. <sighs> 911, what's your emergency? Yes, hi, I need help, I... Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me go! Why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back. Maria. Elizabeth? How did you- Shh. Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here. Uh, eat peppers for you, creep. Oh, my eyes. Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again. I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win. Big time. <laughs> Honey, plug yourself in. I will, okay, relax. Where even is my charger? Eh, I'll find it later. Mom, I'm at 1% and I can't find my charger anywhere. Haley, I told you! I don't feel so good. No, hang on! That was the third time this has happened this month. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me. 
Honey, I've been working on a new invention. I want to show it to you. A bracelet. It's a portable charger that allows you to never run out of battery. It's finally ready for use. Really? Yep, I made it just for you. But Haley, don't tell anyone what it does, okay? Nice bracelet. Thanks. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Powers. How did you do that? Huh, I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm gonna need you to come with me. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. What? How are you? How did you take my power? Ugh, I need that bracelet. Mom, we have a problem. What, honey? Well, there was like this crazy guy at school, and he had electric powers or something, and he was sucking the battery life from me. What? He did? Yeah, but don't worry. Your bracelet protected me. That must have been a power sucker. A what? There are people who recharge themselves by taking other people's battery life. Do you know where he went? No, I ran away, and then he... What was that? I think he might have followed you. Go, hide. No, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You can't hide from me. Leave us alone. Hand over the bracelet. Not a chance. Okay, then. Guess I'll drain her battery. Mom! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna drain all her battery life. No, okay, you can have it. Don't. If he gets that, he'll be unstoppable. She's at 2%. It's her or the bracelet. I choose her. Take it. Finally. Now let her go. All right, a deal's a deal. Uh, Mom? Mom, give me your hand. Not so fast. I'm not done with you, kid. I decided I want more power. What? Leave her alone. I'm taking her battery life. This is for being a little brat. Stop. Mom, go plug yourself in. Otherwise, your battery's gonna die, too. Say goodbye to your daughter. No! Uh, uh. Haley, grab the bracelet. No! Why, you little... Uh, give me that back! No! My power! Uh. You did it. Mom, you're at 1%. Here, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here. Want to see your boyfriend's feelings? 100%? Guess he's a keeper. Got this for you. Thanks. Of course, babe. Derek, is that you? Olivia. You two know each other? Yeah, we used to... Date. We were together for a little bit. We should all go out sometime. Yeah, we should. Boyfriend lost a little feelings. Hey, babe, do you maybe want to hang out tonight? Oh, sorry, babe. I already invited the boys over. They'll be here in a little bit. It's game night. More feelings lost. What is going on? You know what? Forget it. I don't care if it's boys' night. I have to go talk to him. Derek, I... <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Is she wearing my... Um, we, we can explain. You should have knocked. Ugh! Want to get revenge on your boyfriend? Pick your revenge for boyfriend. Revenge is ready. Take your revenge. Remember to use it wisely. Hey, can we talk? There is nothing to talk about. You and I are over. No, don't say that, okay? I just found out that Olivia is with another guy. Well, you know what they say. Karma is a real... Maria, please. What I did was stupid, and I promise it's not gonna happen again. I want you, not her. Thanks for giving me a second chance. Of course. I'm not one to hold a grudge. You look so beautiful, babe. Thanks. Babe, I gotta tell you, this food is, like, really good. I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. What? I didn't know you could cook. You even got my favorite drink. Should we make a toast? To us. To us. Oh, babe, I hope you don't mind I switched our drinks. The one you gave me smelt a little strong. Whoa! You switched them? Yeah, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. <laughs> You've been coughing a lot. Are you okay? You know what? I'm gonna go get you some water. Your revenge has backfired. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Would you like to receive the antidote? Is that even a question? Yes. Sorry I took so long, babe. Here you go. Thanks. What a hero. Boyfriend has lost a little feelings. That boy gains and loses feelings for me every five seconds. 
Olivia, what the hell are you doing here? It's Derek. He's in the hospital. Haven't you checked your phone? He got into a car accident. Derek? Bria, you came. Oh, I'm so glad I'll have you to take care of me. Actually, no, you won't. Because I'm breaking up with you. What? No! Please. It's like I said, Derek. Karma. It's a real... Here, happy birthday, Brianna. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm feeling... Oh no, honey, come with me now. Here, put this charger in your charging port right there. I've been secretly charging you every day, but it's time that you know. You're not like the other kids. If you don't charge yourself and your battery's gone, you'll die. You must keep this a secret because if the other kids find out, they'll treat you differently, okay? Okay. I'm all charged and ready for the day. Welcome to gym class. Today we're going to be running 100 laps. Oh no. I'm gonna lose all my battery. You're a what? Nothing. Keep running! I... I can't. I'll be back, coach. I need more charge. What the... I need more charge. What the... What are you doing? What are you doing here? Why'd you follow me, you creep? Why is there a charger plugged into you? I run on battery. If I don't recharge myself, I'll die. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Oh no. I forgot to charge myself last night. It's okay. I'm already late. I'll have to charge myself at school. Hey, watch out! I'm so sorry, Derek. I'm just super late, so I was in a rush. It's no problem. Here, you dropped your bag. Thank you. Class, turn to page 69. I need to charge myself. Where is it? My charger's gone! Hey, Brianna, I know your secret. Derek told the whole school. Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, oh, Mr. Wolf, please! <laughs> what time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, bestie. Stay safe. You too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. <laughs> Mom! Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just sleeping. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Who? Mr. Wolf, Mr. Wolf! Uh-oh, looks like little Sissy ran out of time. It's time to be my no. meal. <laughs> Go away. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for school. You're late. I don't care. I'm not going. My mom and sister are gone. What? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for you to go to school. I told you I'm not going. You make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten. She has to get married at 17. She won't even be an adult.
Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's going to be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's laugh will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No. My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turned back to red, and remember mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you... I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you... I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you all right? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You use the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or, you know, you could stay, if... if you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess.